Don't you just love brand new starts? I know I do. Welcome to almost 2020. Let's talk about it. Hello, hello again, everyone. This is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. How's everybody doing today on this? Well, it didn't get light yet, Sunday morning. I'm having my first morning cup of joe. How about you? Hope you're having something hot, and welcome to my weekend chat. I decided to change the name to the weekend chat because it was very confusing saying Sunday chat, and sometimes the uploads ended up on a Saturday, and anybody watching it would be going like, what? What did she say? Anyway, we're going to talk about this beautiful time of the year. It has a lot of endings, it has a lot of beginnings, and it has a lot of hope, and that's what we're going to talk about when I get back. Oh! Hey, you know, there's no such thing as past mistakes. Call them lessons learned. And if you can think like that about the things that didn't work out quite exactly the way you wanted it in 2019, well, we learned lessons from that, and we can carry it over into 2020. That's something each of us have to consider at some point. But listen, what's old is new, what's new is old. I came across a book, okay? This book is like Goodness knows how old it is. I have to check officially. The name of it is 200 Fast Weight Loss Tips. Hello. And what I'm going to do this week, I'm going to read a bunch of these tips over uh, on my videos every single day this week. I'm going to read a whole bunch because some of them are so applicable for like forever. This book has to be, I would guess, I mean, based on the way it appears, I would guess this book is at least 20 years old. So if you could find it somewhere, goodness bless you. But I think I got this at a garage sale in the day and I never let it go. Cause you know, if it's a classic, it's a classic. 200 fast weight loss tips. So even including in today's video, I'm gonna start reading a few of the tips that I think are apropos even for 2020. But let's talk about an important point for 2020, and it's something every single one of us needs to remember before I get to this. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. There's nothing like a great morning cup of joe, tea, whatever drink you like, or whatever that makes you happy first thing in the morning. That first sip is always so good. This is about sip number 10. <laughs> Hang on. Mm -mm -mm. And it still tastes good to me. Yeah. So anyway, let's talk about a really important point that will get you going and get you focused. As you know, my mission for this channel is Jan from New York City saves money. Of course, my channel name. Ding. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Anyway, make a long story short. In addition to saving money, it's about the mindset. Staying positive. I really believe that a positive mindset can get you through absolutely anything. I mean the worst of the worst. Trust me, I've had challenges in my life and just trust me, you have to remain positive at all costs. Sometimes you just, just want to throttle something sometimes when I mean, you get frustrated and things don't work out in your favor despite your best efforts, for example. That's the time you go like this, decompress, go, yes, I can do this. Yes, this too shall pass. You have to remember that and just stay focused on the positive outcome. Okay? Okay. That's one point. The next point is really, really, really important. And, and I have to say it. You have to ignore the naysayers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, you're going to come across a bunch of people. Let's say you want to save some money, right? You're really, really making a concerted effort to do it. This year is the year. I'm going to hit that first $1,000 in the bank. Or you might be hitting your, your, your uh, $11,000 in the bank. Whatever goal it is that, that's yours, do, or, or weight loss, or weight loss. Listen to this, people that are trying to lose weight or people that need to gain weight. 
ignore the naysayers. They're, they're always out there. They're always out there. They want to like mentally shoot you down. <laughs> they don't like you to like succeed. They want you to fail. Uh, 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 uh. They'll say anything to you to make you distrust your own feelings. That is really not nice. And to me, that's so uncool. I watch some people that are struggling. They have vlogs with their journeys on their weight loss. And I read in the comment section some of the most horrendous comments you could ever, ever imagine. I'm like, what are you there for? What are you there for? Why do you keep going back? Why do you keep insulting that person? That person's putting their life out there. They're putting their feelings, their emotions on the table. That's one of the reasons I never do a vlog. I'll never do a vlog because you're going to subject yourself. But that's not to say that doing a vlog is wrong. No. Those people have a voice and, and they want to be heard because guess what? There might be 95% of the good people that will get a benefit from it. So keep in mind the 95% of the good ones. I have to tell you, if I see an idiotic comment on here, and I've come across a couple in the last, well, not that many, though. I'm really not going to complain. But, uh, you know, like the ones that, you know, they tell you what, what to do and all that kind of thing. That's fine. I, I don't care. I want to hear your opine. But be sweet about it. You don't have to be insulting. That's one thing I will not tolerate on this channel, as everybody knows by now. If I see insulting, stupid criticism, I'm just going to delete you. No comment, no gift wrap, no kissy-wissy. Bye. I'm just going to delete your comment. I'm not ruining it for the 95% of the good ones. Yeah. Anyway. That's what I'm saying, that you have to handle things in your life. If you have goals that you want, you keep doing it anyway. We'll talk about it in a minute. Continuing talking about naysayers. You have to still do what you have to do anyway. And you know what you could do? Laugh it off. One of the biggest secrets that has worked for me, and trust me, I have seen a lot of ridiculousness in my lifetime. I could write a book, it'd be a bestseller. But instead, I rather channel my energy in a positive manner. But what I do is I take a deep breath, laugh, whatever the thing is, off, and just walk away. Just like that. Walk away, Renee, like the song. Okay, enough about that, because I know this. And I'm going to look right at you in the camera. Whatever goal you want to hit in 2020, you can do it. Yeah, yeah. Tune into my channel as often as possible, not just mine, but everybody that you could get help from. Now, when I get back, we're going to pull out a few interesting oldie but goodie weight loss tips, because that may be one of your goals. Okay? Okay. And then we'll talk about saving money at the end of the video. I'll be right back. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Now I have to put on my trusty reading glasses and just give you a sample of some of the stuff that I'm going to be reading to you during the week. Tell your friends about this. Don't forget. Ironically, it says, attitude is everything. Ha ha ha. You can have the most perfect diet plotted out and an exercise program ready to set into gear. But without the right attitude, you probably won't get very far. A good attitude starts with having a positive sense of yourself and extends into your relationships with the people that you count on for support. Believing in and accepting the responsibility for yourself also encourages you to deal effectively with life's ongoing challenges rather than turning to food as an escape. Approach the task of losing weight with a positive healthy attitude, and you're well on your way to success. Oh, isn't this whole video pretty much about attitude? Attitude is half the battle won, boys and girls. Oops, did I say that? <laughs> you know, I'm goofing because I used to be a teacher. Okay, so scratch that, but you know what I'm saying, everybody. Um, now, most of the tips are in shorter uh, fashion, but uh, one of the paragraphs here says, Lose weight for yourself, okay? What could possibly be harder than trying to lose weight? Try to do so because somebody else wants you to or because you think they do. And then it goes on to about a woman that went on a crash diet because her husband always told her he'd be a lot happier with her 
if she had the girlish figure that she used to have years ago. You know, that, that that's disgusting. I mean, if anybody's going through something like that, that, that reeks, okay? When you go to lose weight, here's what I look at it. This is my journey for 2020. I just want to be healthy. Everything I do, I'm going to do to be healthy. If losing weight happens to be the side effect of the positive steps that I take by doing the right thing on a daily basis, you know how I am about doing things in baby bites, right? It applies to weight loss too. But we'll get into it more. This is a fantastic book. I got to find out when this thing was, when was this thing published? I have to find out. I'm not going to hold you up, but I have to find out. Okay. Well, it says copyright 1998. So again, the name of the book, this was its third printing. 200 Fast Weight Loss Tips. And uh, it was $2.29. It was a paperback. Learn how to melt that fat, make smart choices, and think yourself thin. Well, anyway, thank you for creating this book. It's a treasure trove of information, probably out of print by now. But if you could find it, I wish you a lot of luck finding it. Because a lot of the stuff here is still applicable. When I get back, we're going to close up this video and talk about reinstituting the dollar a day challenge. Before I forget... I want to thank a family member for this cap, which I've added to my cap collection. Thank you. Do you like it? It says love on here. I love caps. I really, really do. And that's why it's important that I get to save money too. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if you're a newcomer to the channel, and if you are, welcome, welcome, welcome. And for those veteran ones that have been following me for a while, you will know by now that I am a firm believer of doing things in little tiny increments, including saving money. There are hidden ways that you could save a dollar or more each day. When I say a dollar a day, I'm not restricting it to the dollar. I, I hope that people knew that, okay? What I do is encourage you to find sneaky hidden ways throughout the day each day. Uh, for example, if somebody's offering you a free ride to work, heck, go for it. If that saves you $3 in bus fare, yay. Take that physical $3, though. Put it in an envelope or a vessel or hide it in a drawer or whatever. Forget it exists. That you did for day one. And what I do every single month, I have a countdown. You can look at some of my old videos and find the countdown, okay? I think we ended off at, like, close to like 700 something bucks and and it, that's really cool i mean come on you may want to start this for next holiday season expenses or or vacation or a weekend getaway or just gas money whatever your goal is and we're going to define definite ways to save and i'll come back on audio messages the remainder of the week till my next weekend chat okay just in case you miss looking at me here right so hopefully everybody's doing well. I want to wish everyone a wonderful upcoming 2020. Please, please, please be safe New Year's Eve. I know it's amateur night with the drinking. Please stop. Stop. I live three miles away from insanity called Times Square near the ball drop here in New York. Crazy. I mean, it's crazy fun, but crazy. God bless those people that could stand in line from like 7 in the morning to midnight. Hello, that can't be me, for sure, for sure. At some point, every lady needs to stop at the ladies' room. <gasps> Did I say that? Anyway, have a great week, and I'll see you next week. But I'll be back tomorrow on audio talking about this and other money-saving tips. Have a great week.